Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, as we're free for the moment, lover. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. This is both. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Hello, little cutie. No? Oh, you looking for your mama? search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Hang on, baby. First, I gotta find Mama. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Oh, I need more. Still bleeding. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay. Not perfect. There. 
I've done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. I was a private eye when I walked in here. And now I'm a babysitter. <laughs> Go figure. problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Okay. How do you do this again? Fresh new baby. That should feel good. Right, Emily? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. Maybe she's hungry. Susan, uh, I changed her diaper, but she's still crying. She's hungry. There's a bottle in, in the kitchen. Gotcha. Baby's bottle. Susan said it was in the kitchen. Baby's bottle. Susan said it was in the kitchen. I guess I better warm this thing up. Tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Okay. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze.
Right, that's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Life ain't gonna be easy for her. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure... It wasn't his, I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. In a drawer in the living room. That's what Susan said. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. Thank you.